Good afternoon, this is Dr. Bill White again with the American Orthodontic Society, and I'm going to do a bunch of videos here, not all that many on rotation. Each one of them, I think, will have a different type of rotation, and uh, we're showed, uh, we've shown one there that's going to be the uh, our starting point where we learned to do this about 40 some odd years ago and uh, this one is quite short and it's uh, rotating an ectopically erupting six-year molar where uh, they come in underneath the uh, deciduous second molar and dissolve the roots and if you let them come on through they uh, really mess up the spacing of the uh, teeth in the arch. So let's uh, go right on and show you this. this is a neat little girl that we had this problem with, and she was really nice, and we would kid her and joke with her and things, and she went right along with it and everything. Uh, I enjoyed working, working on her, and... Uh, Everybody in the office uh, enjoyed her, and she <laughs> she's as cute as a bug. And so we had a tooth on the lower right side where the lower right six-year molar just came underneath the second deciduous molar and just literally dissolved the distal root in that molar. And we set up a... A spring which I didn't have to do it quite like I did uh, we put brackets on these teeth and that wasn't necessary uh, I didn't think about it. I don't know what I was thinking there but you could have just put this wire on these teeth now this is the tooth with only one root of it it'll be down here somewhere and this other one is completely resolved dissolved away but the tooth still vital it's it's not it doesn't, it doesn't kill the tooth the tooth still vital and we bonded a bracket and a, put a bracket on here and I think we just bonded this to this deciduous cuspid but you could have just taken the wire and bonded it to those teeth and when we made the little spring that went in here it came out you know and we made it where it was down here, and you come up and hook it on this right here. Now, it's got that much activation, and watch what it does to that molar tooth. I'm going to show you the x-rays of it, too, and uh, we'll go on to the next slide. You can see it <clears throat> a little bit better, but you always want to put your hook right behind one of the places on the tooth and it's going to slide back as his tooth uprights it's going to move back also so let's watch that now here the tooth is already corrected you see now this little spring is i think we had a couple of rounds of it in here but we had it it was bent like that you know and it was pushing down pretty hard up here. And as the tooth moved back, this hook slid from this point back to here. And I'll show you the little spring in just a minute. It's got, I've got a picture of it and an x-ray of it. This will be a short video. But now look how this six-year molar was crowded in and it actually resolved or dissolve the root of this deciduous molar. It just had nothing and it had this mesial root. And we back this out. Now don't worry about them coming up. They, the roots back down of the six-year molar are in the bone. And when you start this thing up, it just backs out of here. This is as neat as can be. And it, it came back like you saw it just a second ago. Now here is the x-ray of it. 
and I drew this out uh, for the people when they were here. And here's a little little deal. We're going to work on it, and it it has this spring in it, and we raise this up, and it condenses this spring, and it's hooked here, and that pressure here picks this tooth up. And don't worry about the second motor behind. It'll shove the second motor back. And if it's a wisdom tooth back here, it would actually shove the wisdom tooth. It'll get them out of the way. This tooth is going to, see the roots are down here in the bone structure. And this top, you start pushing it up. And it'll just come right out of that hole. And leave that. But this tooth only has one root. Now if you lift this alone. It'll eat this root away too. And it'll go. And now this six year mold is going to be right up in here. And that's going to really affect your uh, arch length. And how, how the teeth erupt in there. Because you'll have the six year mold. And the second mold. And the wisdom tooth. All will be up uh, too close in this area. So let's. See what happens here. I think this next picture is just the whole thing got back. Well, it's part of the way back now. And you didn't have to be on the, you've got to be on the side of the tooth. And this picture looks like, but the tooth is over part of this. And that's on the side. Now this, this hook is back behind that and it'll slide back. I could show you that on the. Uh, another picture and I think we well here's here's a little further down the way and you see this hook was right here at one time and this tooth was down here and now this is eating this away and that's all it's holding this tooth but we're going to put a little pull on this tooth now and keep the pressure on it to hold it straight up and down, but we'll pull on it, and this six-year motor will move over here, something like that, and then this remains as a space maintainer. There's enough root structure there to hold it up, and it'll keep these from erupting down, and that'll save your arch length for these teeth to come in straight. That's uh, and this is a uh, uprighting molars. This is just uprighting one that's uh, ectopically erupting. Now I didn't take, uh, I stayed in here and put something on it, just pulling back here with elastic chain or just tying it back. As long as I kept some force on it here, in other words, it's still pushing. It'll keep the root and it'll move the whole tooth will come right on up to where it'll be t touching this right here. And uh, and that is the proper space for these teeth to get or to have as they erupt in the mouth. And we use this an awful lot on the ectopically erupting teeth. Now you can see we just stuck a mirror in the mouth of teeth actually here. You're looking at the mirror and in here is so the way you could uh, get this but you see the activation in this spring you see it come underneath here and it's putting a force on that tooth and it just backs it out of that space and if you haven't tried that that is to me the best way you can ever get a tooth uh, uprighting a teeth and I've seen people do all kinds of crazy things. If you try to get this tooth out with this tooth right here, you will lose it. That tooth does not have just this little bitty root in here, but if you back it out of there, and we were down pressure on this tooth, it had a pretty good root on it, and it's also some over here, and these are all deciduous teeth, but it backed out and didn't bother these teeth right in here and this will be a space maintainer in there while you wait for the rest and they can chew on those teeth and everything. 
Now let me see. Here is the spring that we had. Now it's upside down. Uh, this part right here was on the arch wire. And this was going out something like that when you had it hooked up. So this spring was tightening this up, you see. As you, when I activated this uh, deal, pulled it up and hooked it on there, it tightened this spring up. And it works for you trying to loosen up. So if you haven't tried this, uh, this is one of the neatest things. Uh, and you can upright any tooth. I have never, honest to God, I have never found a tooth that I couldn't set up or straighten up. And then I could pull it forward. Or if you wanted to go backwards, you can uh, do that. But where you take one up like this, and then you keep the pressure on it as you pull it forward. And you can move the roots even further out than the crown if you like to. And the age doesn't matter. I think you could do this on, I could do one on myself. And I'm 90. I'm 92 this next birthday. And, and I think my teeth would move fine. But I'm not fixing to uh, go in and straighten them out. Uh, they're straight enough. I had them straightened when I was a kid. So anyway, uh, try this. And now you can see where this spring is. And you see this little hook was right there. And this thing was bent like that. You see, this was coming down here. This deal. Like that. And this leg of this was sticking out and we raised it up and hooked it over here, right there. And that activated this spring, or it tightened the heck out of it. And it just took that molar and shoved that thing right back like that. And your upper teeth, if they're against it, don't grind them off. They'll go up and bump that, and this come out lined out. And if a wisdom tooth or second molar is behind it, don't worry about it. It'll shove them out of the way. It's pushing down on this tooth mainly, and as it got up there, it pushed down, but this tooth had a root in here, and this works great. So if you haven't tried this, give it a try. Once it, you see what it'll do, you'll love it, and you'll do it, and if you know a better way to do this, uh, I would like to see it. I have never seen a better way way to go in there and upright and get these ectopically erupting teeth out of the way and it'll work on the upper as well as the lower and it'll same principle works on any molar teeth and if you want to see a lot of it that we did go and look at that video on closing the space on adults uh, that has been more popular than any video we've ever done and uh, we've got over 300 of them now out there. You can almost learn orthodontics from them. So let me see if I've got anything else. Well, there's where we drew it out on the x-ray. And there the tooth was. And this tooth just backs up like that. And now it's setting up in here. And then we kept some of this pressure on it as we pulled it up, but I, don't, I didn't get a picture of it once it got all the way up there. You wish you'd taken one, but you didn't do it. But now, this root will hold that tooth as a space maintainer, but if you tried to upright this by pushing that, and I've seen so many people run something down in here and prize on this tooth trying to get this one out and this tooth will be lost actually the resorptive cells are already back in here softening this up now they eat the root away but it doesn't kill this tooth it's still vital uh, even though the whole root the nerve and everything there is gone on it <coughs> it's still vital and when this goes up, it'll shove this tooth back. Don't worry about it. And if it come, you have one where the tooth is 
coming down here. Don't grind it off. Just let it bump. It'll bump this tooth and the occlusion will come out and your tooth will be sitting right like that. So hope that you will find that how to do that or do it easy. And there it is. It looks like that this is on top, but it's really over to the side. And here's the little gal uh, <coughs> after we finished. Uh, that's just a picture I had of her. She was smiling. She never did. It never did bother her a bit. She had, she was a joy to work on. And so uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And so uh, if you did, I hope you uh, join our uh, group and uh, subscribe to our uh, videos. And we're going to put this on Facebook as well as uh, YouTube. Uh, it's probably already on YouTube. So thank you, and we'll say goodbye. And thanks again for all the help. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <coughs>